Oh Manchester, that city that I did not expect to like this much. A city full of life, vibrant, big but small enough, busy but welcoming at the same time. It is the city where I spent my first summer living with my boyfriend, pretending we already had our own home, and it was also where I probably got my first job. There was something so special about coming back home every day after a long day of work and start planning what to have for dinner together. Simple things. A lot of them, actually. Just the young people in love figuring out how to navigate life together. And so this is a collection of memories I made there. Long working days, chill days at home, walks around the city, small trips and getaways, nights out, and lots and lots of dinner dates discovering all the cool spots that the city had to offer. Manchester exceeded my expectations. I remember the first thing that surprised me was how lively it was outside. There was live music everywhere and just generally the vibe was really nice. All the venues were by far my favourite and this was one of our favourites, the long clap. Another thing we loved was the view from our bedroom window. During daytime, sunset or nighttime, the cosmopolitan vibe of the skyscrapers reflecting the light on the sunny days was a must. And what was intense but fun, I learned so much and generally enjoyed the vibe. Some days we would be planning some cultural event happening, some days I would be in charge of the social media, and other days I would just have to answer infinite calls and emails, which was definitely challenging. And the trips. Our first getaway was to Liverpool. This was a fun day. Although, unpopular opinion here, we did not particularly like Liverpool as much. Um, this food court called the Vantage Market was super nice and fun. Then we explore a bit of the surrounding areas of Manchester. For instance, this was Audrey Hill, a very cute town to escape the city for a day. And then we went to York. York was actually one of my favourite cities because of its narrow streets, its old vibe and well-preserved buildings. Without a doubt, to go into the Peak District was my favourite trip ever. <laughs> it was honestly one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. The weather was wonderful the whole weekend and everything worked out exactly how we wanted, even if we had not planned anything until the day before. The first stop was Buxton, which happened to be the yearly fair the exact day we were there, so it was actually really fun. Then we explored Bakewell, which was also the greatest town. And we camped in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by infinite green fields. It was actually my first time camping, so that made it much more special. The next day we stopped by this old mine and then spent the whole morning exploring the gardens of the Chatsworth House, which were amazing. We even went for a swim in the river near. Our last stop was Castleton, a small town with insane views from the top of the hill and um, where we had a good Sunday roast before heading back home. It's so pretty! It has been a year since I packed my bags and left all those memories behind. Since I said goodbye to Freddy without knowing when I would see him again, although we both knew we would make it work no matter how hard it could be. Manchester definitely saw a better version of myself. A happy me romanticizing a life that could not be permanent yet. 
but somehow felt like a trial. A trial worth paying for a premium version one day. And for that, thank you Freddy for loving me every day. And thank you Monzo for making it this special. Say something in Spanish. ¿Qué tal? Bien, ¿y tú? Mi suca es... muy divertida. <laughs> ¿Divertida? Divertida, no divertida. <laughs>